what is going on ladies and gentlemen to Hunter X bring us an episode of stone block 3 with that being said let's get into today's episode Alrighty, guys i just realized something we're 73 episodes in and i still have yet to automate lava uh i think i have an idea about how I want to do that but I need to get myself some stuff first so that an axe to strip it and then I believe it's a copper casing weirdly enough uh, yeah and then you're gonna do that and I'm gonna want a drain here and I think I think what I need to do is have the lava eggs clicked onto that potentially maybe why are you not spinning or do I, do I just, hold on. Can I just like import them? I don't know how this works. Okay, I have to click it. So, is it because this is too close? It appears that the portal contains excess items that need to be extracted to use a hopper food. What do you mean? There's nothing in there, at least as far as I know. Uh, and I don't think I can just pipe into this thing, can I? Oh, wait. Can I just pipe into this? Hold, please. Hold while I get an interface. An interface. God, I didn't, I didn't think lava would be this hard to automate in this pack. Strangely enough. Like, there isn't really a good way to automate lava in this pack, I, I'm pretty sure. Either that or I'm just dumb and can't figure it out. But this seems... Oh, God. That is not what I wanted to do. Damn it. I think I can pump into this thing. I hope. Because that would be sick. I can just pump into it. Wait, does it need stress? I can't tell if it needs stress units or not hmm this would be a good indicator if it does or not it, okay I can just pump into it okay that is good to know all right that is now lava automated the reason why i wanted lava automated is because i am currently working on the system that is going to be doing the pig iron setup and we need a few things for that right we need a lot of congealed blood and unfortunately there's only one way to get congealed blood in this pack and or as far as i know that's either through the smell three and that's about it right so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pump in to uh, lava into a, a just a, a very basic run of the mill, uh, very basic early game um, uh, melter setup. Because I don't think it, it doesn't need to be anything too crazy, right? Because don't forget that we're also going to probably put a watch on it. That's going to make it go super fast. So, oh my god, I, I seriously did that. Um, 
So yeah, that, that's going to fill that now. And then all I really need to do at this point is just put down a simple laser IO node on top of here. Uh, this is probably going to need a casting table. Yeah, it's going to need a casting table. And then like a seared faucet. Actually, it doesn't need a seared faucet, actually. It's fun fact. You can actually use pipes to pump out of things. Um, especially these things, I believe. At least in previous versions of the Tinker's Compilary mod. But I know that this is a different mod, but it's still the same concept, I think. At least in heart. On the up, you're going to be extract, always active, insert, max tick, rotten flesh, uh, into here, please. And then let me get some rotten flesh. I mean, not that we don't have plenty of it. Oh my God. We have almost a million rotten flesh. Dear God. And that actually melts pretty quick. Uh, not going to lie. That actually does indeed melt pretty quick. Uh, the only thing that we have to do now is just quickly get some netherite upgrades. And then this is all going to be, this is all planned, by the way. We are going to need a crud ton of this stuff. And I mean a crud ton. So, we might as well get it started now, right? Even though we should have gotten it started, like, God knows how long ago at this point, right? All right. And then the only thing that needs to be set up here is a pedestal. And uh, I, I don't really know... I'm really hoping that I don't have to watch a flowing time, the other create build to keep up with the lava production, but hopefully we're, we're making enough lava where I'm not going to have to worry about that at all. Um, there you go. And then the only thing that needs to be done is I need to get myself a external storage bus some network, some very basic network stuff. Uh, cause I do not feel like doing the whole shebang, if you will. Right. <clears throat> and then get me an external. And then you're going to go on top gonna get clicked and then you're gonna come over here right down here and then that should be adding to the system priority 100 and then let's also make sure that we lock it just in case so nothing else goes in there and then that's gonna be yeah that's gonna be our, our congealed blood I mean, it's quite slow, but that doesn't mean that we can't just like, you know, yoink, you know, a, a watch of flowing time from somewhere. Like we have two available watches of flowing time right now. Um, yeah, there's two of them available right here. Actually, I need to be very careful and make sure that I don't you know, break... Oh, they probably went into the system. I don't break the thing that's, you know, currently making the blood magic thing work. Uh, wait. Those didn't just get crashed today. No, they shouldn't have gotten crashed. That wouldn't have made sense. I was about to say, they better not have been gotten trashed. Because that would have been bad. I mean, not that we can't craft another two of them, but still. That was that was the reason why I didn't want... I didn't go and craft the two, because I didn't want to have to damn craft the bloody thing. Alright, let's go ahead and add another two more here. 
Get that really cooking. Get it really cooking. And I can probably, if I'm smart, get a few more casting tables in here and make it go like two times faster. Right? Because this thing is blistering fast. And now I just gotta somehow find a way to make this work. Weirdly enough. You know what? I don't even have to do that one there. Because I can do a extract in the bottom here. A extract on the bottom and then an extract on this side as well and then that should cover those those two as soon as I get them linked up uh, with the laser wrench. And then this is going to get linked up here. With a extract item pipes fully maxed out. And now that should be going super hypersonic speed I put the, I I did put the, the right upgrades in there good and everything else has EMC so that makes this even better and then the only thing I have to do now is come up here with a oh god is it the stock upgrade what upgrade am I thinking of from laser IO um, tag filter, mod filter, energy card. You know what? No, I think it's a mode. It's a mode in the, uh, thingy-mabobber. It's a mode in the, uh, da -da 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 -da, thingy. All right. What do I don't have? I don't have this. I don't have the invar. Uh, let me just quickly invar dump. Uh, we have the invar now. That's for sure. And then uh, this my bobber. And then that. And then the other thing is literally just the uh, wait, there's a thingy. I'm trying to remember from refined storage that we can use. God, what was it? I remember Zine saying something about it. The, not the filter. Oh God, what was it called? Crafting, no. Was it the filter upgrade? It was something from refined storage. Uh, so touch, fortune, no, 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 no. Stack, crafting, no. Range, no. Speed, no. Fortune, fortune, fortune. Regulator upgrade. That's what it was called. The regular, the regulator upgrade is what is was called. There it is. The regulator. Regulator upgrade. Uh, quartz fiber. 
thousand. Easy. All right. So. Okay. So we should be able to quickly grab this regulator upgrader. Upgraded. Upgrade. Excuse me. <clears throat> Game. Could you not? That would be appreciated a lot. I should be able to come here and I guess put it here. We will import on the top, export on the side, and then I guess full into the right upgrades again. Two of the 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 th three items here. Oh, is it already half? Okay, weird. Never mind. And then you're gonna be the export bus. Easy enough. With the congealed uh the the blood. The four thousand blood that we have. Uh a stack of blood. I think it's iron and clay. Again, things that we have so much of that I'm just like I I really it doesn't really matter and if I care that much I can just be like you know iron solved clay solved bada bing bada boom Bob's your uncle fanny aunt easy clap easy done you know what I mean it, it's not that big of a deal right at least, yeah. At least it shouldn't be. Uh, regulator upgrade. That, that, that. I don't know how this regulator upgrader works. Um, but sure. Does it, like, read the, the contents of the... Uh, the, the thing? Like, I don't... Hmm. Alright, so it's telling me I should be able to right... Oh, you can! Oh, yes. This is... Yes. Please. Yes, please. I will... Really? That's all it took to get out of range? I mean, to be fair, I can probably fix that now. I could probably fix that if I if I so too inclined to fix that issue. Oh, it's it's fast. What? Also, where is it going? Oh, that's a problem. It doesn't like the fact that I'm using. A watch of flowing time. It's in the range of a watching flowing time. That is bad. That is not ideal in any circumstance at all. Um that doesn't make me feel great. Uh, I don't think universal cable is going to even help here. I'm pretty sure the, the induction smelter is limited per side. It can accept power into, which is like, yeah, that's what I kind of thought, but if I have my trusty old friend entangled, which I think we do have in this pack. I want to say that we do have entangled. We do, which means I can totally just, you know, you know, do my favorite thing ever and absolutely just 
cheese the living hell out of this by daisy chaining the hell out of this literally until we can get enough power into this thing which it looks like we are <laughs> just like that it's just that easy man Man, Entangled really does make things super duper OP. <laughs> like. Like, it, it makes it super busted. Oh, and then we also need to make sure that that's um, locked as well. And I don't think I have to do anything with this, right? This is just pig iron and gates, which then go into the singularity, right? Yes, beautiful. So now that pig iron is set up, uh, train tracks are all set up. Let's see what other singularities might be a bit of a, a nuisance. Are we making more than we're outputting? Uh, blood. Yes, we are totally making more than we're outputting. So that's fine. I'm cool with that. Um, oh, right. I need that. Give me that back. Singularities. Okay, so pig iron is done. I thought that was going to be a lot more difficult than it it, it was. Saurus gems. I got to check up on that. Uranonite's probably done already. Um, if I had to guess, because we have a lot of that. Wall singularities is done, I believe, for the most part. Emerald clusters is going to be the next big one that's going to be really just like a pain in the freaking donkey butt um wait for this we want the clusters which i think we got a silk touch right right okay So I'm thinking, by the way, how are we doing on balloons? We should probably check up on that as well in today's episode. Let's go check up on our balloons because they're, they're just, they're just over here. Oh my God. 77,000. Okay. That's actually not bad. Well, Give or take, it's 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 pretty bad. How are we doing over here on the? Oh, we're actually. Oh my god, we're actually out of. We're actually out of creosote. Oh god. Uh huh. I didn't think about that. Hey, yeah, you know what? It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. He says. Um, yeah, let's go check up on the source gems. I'm really hoping that we have quite a bit. 4,000. This is a problem. This is definitely a bottleneck for sure. You know what? It's not a... Mm, yes, it is a bottleneck. Um... Yeah... If I get a relay and put it here, and then I think I need my R's wand. I want to see something here. Uh, this guy. Make sure that you're cleared of any stuff.
I'm so confused. Wait, can this not send to this? Oh, because it's trying to like, hold on, hold please. Stop doing that for a second. I need you to. Wait. No as we found if pedestals are required. Can I not? I'm so confused. What is happening here? There's gotta be, there's gotta be some way to speed this up, right? I mean, other than... The only thing I can think of is doing it blocks at a time using amethyst blocks. And then breaking that down, right? Hmm. Because as far as my knowledge, there is no other way to make this other than the imbuement chamber. Molten source gem. There's no way to make molten source gem. So this is the only way that we can do it. So it might be worth just making the blocks and then like breaking them down. Let's do that. I'm going to regret this, but it is what it is, right? We'll send an EMC link here with Amethyst. Right, we'll set a, a EMC link here. Do I even have Amethyst? That's, that's the better question. Do we have Amethyst? We might. I'm pretty sure I got amethyst. Oh, we have amethyst blocks already. All right, teach that to the EMC table. And then grab those. Yes, that's exactly what we want here. And then I am going to have you not do th that anymore. So I'm going to have you not pull and insert into here anymore. Your job is going to be to... You know what? Actually, I actually have a really good idea here. Oh, does the factorizer not exist anymore? Ooh, the factorizer doesn't exist anymore. Okay. So that kind of changes my plan then, I guess. Uh, we're guess we're going into a crafter, which might be a little bit more tricky, right? Because it's gonna need power. Yeah, it's gonna need power and all. But what's good about this, if I'm being completely honest here. is I can, did I pull it out of the top? I did, okay, there it is. I just, I'm blind. Uh, on the up, insert amethyst blocks. I need you on the down to 
to be a extract. Okay. Into here. Why are you not pulling? And then this is where we find out we can't pull from the... This is probably where we find out we can't pull from the damn top. Which is fine. Because I can just do this. I just extracted it on accident. Oh my god. I can't... Just, you know what? I'm just gonna do it this way. And then you're going to link to this. On the up. Ah. Insert source gem blocks. And then that is just going to be a simple craft of this. It's not particularly fast, though. That's the problem. Right. Oh, that's what that's what we're seeing here is it's it's just not fast. And I'm not sure how to link the pedestals to this. And it's kind of frustrating me a little bit because I mean you could say that it's if in theory, technically, we are going nine times faster. Technically. Technically speaking, we are going nine times faster because we are crafting blocks instead of, you know, whatever, you know, like one at a time. We're, we're still, uh, we're very much crafting, um, uh, we're actually crafting quite a bit, uh, all things considered. Um... So that is really frustrating. You would think like I would be able to take this. Okay, wait, hold on. If I click this, okay, and then I sh no. Okay. That means something here is not working. Either that or it's not going fast enough. Yeah, you can see that this is just not fast enough to keep up with that. So I guess to fix that problem, problem we just watch we, more watches just throw down more watches and then i guess we can disable some more that we're not really using anymore this is actually a really cool way to see if it's working or not honestly this is i don't need this Yeah, it's 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 not doing anything for us. Is that outside the range? No, it's in the range for sure. Again, it's just the fact that there is not enough um source being generated here, which is unfortunate. Right? I guess to fix that problem, we just put down more watches. And then we, we can't see how it reacts. Part of me wonders 
if or not whether f these watches are doing anything. Dude, we're gonna need so many of these. Um, it's 90 per. So the math on that is what? Uh, 184,000. We have 4.4 thousand. Hmm. We're crafting nine at a time. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to handle this. That is so many. Uh, source gem. Hmm. But unfortunately, guys, it is time to wrap up today's episode. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please do me a huge favor. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, ding that, that notification bell, be part, become a part of the Hunter Tribe, and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. As always, guys, I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna leave you. Till next time. Bye bye. <laughs>